Welcome to the Beauty and Life channel. It's me, Nakaya. Today I'm going to be preparing a chili for myself and my family. So I just wanted to guys to bring you guys along so you can see how I prepare chili. I watched some of y'all videos. It looks delicious. I said, hey, I got to try this too. So here, today the, um, the ingredients that we have. We have some organic dark kidney beans. They're low fat. My mom actually chose these ones. I was going to get some different ones. But since they're organic, you know, there are no processed stuff in it. It should be good. And we still can add seasoning as we choose. Also today here, we have some rotel. Of course, I like spicy, so we did get the hot one. Now the rotel comes with diced tomatoes with habaneros. That's what it says. I'm not sure exactly what kind of, you know, veggies are in there, but yeah. Two cans of rotel. Three cans of the beans. And also, two packets of the chili seasoning. Now, this seasoning, I'm only going to add to the meat. Once I add, um, actually, I lied. I just thought better. I'll add one packet to the meat, and I'll add one packet when I add the beans in. And again, the hot. Now, here's some organic um, grass-fed ground beef that my mom got. So it is organic. It's from ground f grass fed um, cattle instead of, you know, whatever food that they feed them other than that. So it should be a little bit more healthy because usually she wants me to eat the turkey. I don't like turkey meat. She says it's healthier. I do understand it's healthier, but it tastes different. So she said, hey, I'll get this for you. So yeah, should be pretty good. We'll see about it. It's, let's see how much it is. Um, 16 ounces for those who are trying to, you know, probably get the roll of it. Is this is 16 ounces block. Also, I chopped up about a medium to small size onion and used about half of it. And I just cut it off, you know, the, all the layers up and um, took the skin off. And now I have this in this container. Now this container, when you put it into the bottom and put the top on it, it used to chop it up into smaller pieces. It's probably easier than using a knife and they get a little bit smaller than, you know, if I was to use a knife anyway. Let me show you an example. It's kind of hard to show you because it has to be on like a hard surface. And then, you know, I'll bring it back and they'll be all crushed up at the bottom and I'll show you. So yeah. Now, after I dump these in, because this is what I'm going to do first, dump these into the into the pot, put about a tablespoon or a cow full of oil, you know, just kind of eyeball it out. Or really, I'm going to fill the bottom of the pan with oil. That's what I'm going to do. Then I'm going to fill this um, up. Of course, the onions aren't going to be in here, but I'm going to fill this little clear part up with water, add that to the pan, and then just cut open the meat and add it as well. Stir it up. Of course, one pack of the seasoning from there. Stir it up until the meat is browned. Put in the kidney beans and the um, rest of the veggies, the rotel. Put in one more packet. Stir it up until it's hot. That will be our chili for today. Of course, we have some shredded um, cheese that's in the refrigerator in case you want to sprinkle that on top. We have corn chips that are organic in the refrigerator, I mean in the pantry. We also have some rice that we have that can be made if you want to add it with rice. We also have some crackers as well. So some different ways that you can eat this chili or for those who just like to eat chili by itself. That's how I'm going to be preparing it today. Let me go ahead and take you guys along and show you. So again, like I said, I'm going to start with these onions and smash them up. And you do have to hold this top so it doesn't fall off. I'm going to smash it. And it turns and smashes by itself. So you just got to smash it up. Like I can smell the onions, but they don't pop in my eyeball and make me cry, so it's good. Like this. After about, what was that, 45 seconds of smashing or whatever, it's still not all the way smashed up as you guys can see. It's still basically like, I guess, more of slices instead of smash. And in my chili, I don't want to chew on a slice of onion, so I'm going to smash it a little bit more. Maybe a little bit vigorously and faster now. Now after 20 seconds, it's a lot smashed and they are little small chunks still. So, I mean, 
I'm going to just do it for about 15 to 20 more seconds. Then whatever it turns out then, it's good. Because, of course, the rotel is going to be in there with it, too. So, I mean, if you do chew an onion, it shouldn't be too bad. Chili's good. Should be good as you guys see it is good now occasionally you do have a slicer like i'll say three slices i mean my family is a very picky family so they're going to be like why am i eating a chili and i got a slice of onion in my tooth that's what they're going to say and in my head i'm going to say the same thing if i get it in my pot so that's the reason why i want to make it a little bit evener now if i want to be lazy i would just throw it in there but since I'm cooking for the family, and I don't usually cook for the family, I don't need them saying nothing to me about my food. So I'm going to go ahead and do it some more. ready to give them some lip about it. Alright. So we're going to add these onions. This is the final product of the onion. Hold on. Let's focus that up. The onion. Let's see. Yep. As you can see, it is like a couple slices in there. But overall, it's still chopped up. So, let's see. Up it in here. And fill the remainder with water and dump it in there. That's just so when you fry your meat, it's kind of boiling and frying, and I'm just getting a whole bunch of oil inside of the meat. That's always how I fry everything. So, this much water, the rest of the onions in there. Dump it in here. Alright. Now, we're going to get a little bit of oil. Like I said, if I had to estimate, maybe three tablespoons of oil. If I had to estimate. Here, I'll bring y'all a little bit closer. So y'all can see the pot. And I'll try to loosen this up a little bit. So that it'll be... Let's see if this, you know, this dowel, I don't know what I can do to make you guys be able to, you know, look at the pot, like inside the pot, so, um, let's see, it's probably not a way, so I'll have to pick up the pot to show you guys, so let's switch this back, and let's just see what's going on. As far as how much, you're going to have to see how much I pour, then I can show you what's in there after. Let's see if this top comes off. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six seconds of pouring gives you a result of, I don't know if you can see, but whatever. A result of that. Now, we're going to go ahead and turn on our oven. And like I said, I don't usually put a lot of seasoning, extra seasonings, other than what they have, unless it's to my own bowl, because it has seasoning already. You know, the chili seasoning is already a seasoning. Now, the meat, like I said, one chili thing on there, I'm probably even going to use white pepper, um, a little bit of salt, um, and seasoning salt. That's probably the only three seasonings that I'm going to use. And maybe a little bit of thyme, which is like an herb. Other than that, that's probably the whole seasoning that I'm going to use for the whole thing. That's other than what was bought for the meal. So let's turn it up. 
So I'm gonna get it hot, get it ready. told me how long it takes for me to cook or beans to cook, but I'm pretty sure to warm them up it's probably all the same. So I'm probably going to add all of the ingredients at one time. And let's see how that turns out. Uh, I mean, because, I mean, usually you would cook the meat first, but it's just what I'm going to do. I mean, because I don't want anybody to get sick, so that's why I would cook the meat first. I'm going to cook the meat first, just so they don't say I try to poison them. I thought it was at my own house, as in like I was in a daughter and I own my own house and I had a husband and stuff, I would throw all of this together too. So that's how I would do it, I'm not going to lie. But since I'm not, I'm going to adhere to everybody's suspicions. Also, comment and let me know how you guys like my hair. It's a new style that I tried. So if you guys like it, let me know in the comments. Let's see. We want to take some pictures for our Instagram, so I might put that at the bottom of the page also. I won't be uploading those till a week after this video is uploaded on YouTube, but then that's when I'm going to upload them onto Instagram. We took a lot of pictures. New outfit we just bought today, actually. So, yeah. Like, if it was a pan pan, it would probably be easy to see, but... A chili, I don't know if it will fit all in there. It's kind of loose, so I said I'll use a pot instead. But I'll go ahead and stir and continue to talk to y'all. So at least y'all won't be bored watching it. Matter of fact, when I finish the meat, I'll bring you guys back. I'll bring back the final product. You guys know that I'm cooking the meat. I'm going to add this, add the chili, and then I'll show you guys the final product from here. So thanks for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoyed the pics that I leave at the end of the final product. And I also hope you guys enjoyed this video today. I'll continue to watch y'all. Subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you. Love it. See you later, guys.